Hello YouTube. The video I did where I replaced the rear wheel and tire, I told you I was taking my Doc Humphreys vibration dampener off because I was going to see if my lower belt tension down to 160 on the cricket scale with it sitting on the ground would get rid of the vibration. I used to have higher belt tension and the vibration was really bad. So I took it off and I still have vibration. It's not near as bad as it was when I had the higher belt tension, but I am going to install Le Monster's vibration dampener, which is a BRP dampener that Le Monster has added a more robust roller. So it's a double roller instead of the single that the BRP comes with. Significantly bigger diameter than the stock BRP, which is about the size of the old Doc Humphreys one I had. And it is a newer updated version. So instead of just bolting to the two bolts on top of that frame, like Doc Humphreys did, it bolts to the front one, or actually it'd be the rear one, and then around the front side of that frame. I did look up the instructions, and you can see how it uses the a bolt on the front of that frame, and then one of those on top. And it tells you to make sure you're, you know, you have it straight. Um, 137 inch pounds of torque for those two bolts. They're 13 millimeter heads. So here we go. I'm going to put that on. It is, you know, it does add to your pre trip checklist putting one of these on and like when you service it because you really need to make sure your bearings are good. You know, nothing's wearing out on it where you're gonna end up causing damage to your belt if if you lose you know an arm or the roller so here we go we'll get this thing apart. magic mirrors a diyer's best friend or a T30 Torx is what all these bolts are for the body work. Make sure you hold up here there's a plastic hook on this this thing when you're pulling these <sighs> loose from the grommets so there's three three grommets that this goes into and then this hook right here that hooks around this so you don't want to snap that off and these are also pins that go into grommets, these two, so you don't ever take those off. And push pin here. This little short one up here. And 
and then this will slide out of here. And where it's going is right here. So I'm gonna grab my air hose and clean that up a little bit. Anytime you have this side cover off, it's a good time to check for red, like rust dust around your front belt drive pulley. The instructions say to discard these these bolts, but I keep them because I needed them when I got rid of. Doc Humphrey's tensioner. May as well get the parts over here. Okay, using a little center punch to pull that forward to get this bolt started. Keeping pressure down here to keep it sitting flat. And before I tighten this top one, I'm going to tighten that bottom one. And then we also, you also have to make sure that roller is centered on the belt. So let's get this bottom one, this one in the front of the frame snugged up. Okay, there it's snug. Pull this roller so there's it's even, it's about an eighth of an inch overlap from each side of the belt. So I'm just feeling it here. And then we'll snug this top one up, make sure it stays where it is right now. take a little bit of body work on that thing to get it to stay centered and when I say body work I mean a little tweakage
Okay, now we'll torque them. 137 inch pounds, which is like 11 foot pounds. But my smaller foot pound torque wrench doesn't go that low. I already had that tighter than that. So whatever. Good and tight. Okay. Feels good. So put this all back together. Take it for a little test spin. This one just sits there and is held by these. Then you slide these in right behind the Shorty goes up here. The three with no washers go back here. Plug it in, right? All right, now I'm gonna run it out and see how it feels.